Hi, everybody. It's me, DJ AZH2O. Um, I, I have a question. Seriously. Can you use the RBDMX1 with the Donner transmitter receiver system? Search YouTube, see what you find. I'll give you a minute. Okay, that's a minute. <laughs> no, nobody is. I, I haven't seen it. If, if you did it, please tell me because I can't find it. So I went out and bought a Donner system. I said, the only way to figure this out is to do it. So I went out and bought the wireless donor transmitter receiver. I bought the cheap one. I'm going to let you know that now. They come in little packages like this. And I hooked them up to my lights. And I hooked the receiver up to my DMX, RB DMX1. Will it work? Let's find out. Let's play some music and find out. Nothing. Oh, what is that? Yes. It died. It died. Turn it off. I've waited for this moment for a very long time because I kept contemplating it. I kept saying, hey, does the wireless system, which I'm going to turn this around, does this wireless system work with the RB DMX1 because I'm tired of running DMX cables all over the damn place because what I was doing before is I have my RB DMX1 it plugs into my laptop I've got the program figured out and then I run I usually have uh, this is this is my DJ table so maybe I have my my RB DMX1 sitting right here my laptop's coming off here then I run a DMX cable from the little box to my Chave light, which is sitting back here. And then from the Chave light, I'm running a DMX cable that way to a speaker or that way to a speaker, which I have the scrims on my speaker. So I up light my speakers. And then from that speaker, I go to the next to the totem and I hook up this light and the global lights go in and I come out of the global light and I go down. So you get it. It's Cable after cable after cable after cable. If you're used to running DMX and you're running cables, God love you. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm not doing it no more. No. I had to find this out. Does it work? And it does. I'm going to show you exactly what I did. Because I'm about to show you. Let me grab my mouse because i got to show you DMX. Yes, I do. Looky right there. That is... That right there is the RB DMX1. This right here is the transmitter. Plugged in right there. This is plugged in to my laptop. Now, let's see if we can get the screen here. Let's get the screen. Okay, let's go to record box. Oh, let's go down there. Okay, now we got record box. Over here is performance. We go to lighting. In the lighting program, you will see this big box. In this big box are all your controllers. One to 512. Down here is a list of your uh, items that you want to put up in here. Over here is a search bar. In this search, you can search. I have you, King. That is my par light. That is my moving LED headlights. This is my mini spider lights. This is my gig bar. And this is some more par lights. So they're all in there. That's 49, 1, 8, 19, and 34. Go back to performance mode. Grab my song. Throw it up there. Along here are different picks that you can pick from. So blackout turns all the lights off. This is strobes. So if I want fast strobes, medium or slow or off. I can change the lighting colors. From red, green, blue, magenta, yellow, crayon, white, or the user. You have different modes of operation. So you got cool, natural, hot, subtle, warm, vivid, club one, club two. I'm always on club two, and you can have it high, medium, or low. I always keep it high. So we got the program. Let's go back to the light. There we go. Now I may have messed that up, but we're back to record box. 
All right, let's go back to the program, my friends. See if we can get get back to the stage. Get back to where we belong. Oh, that was the Beatles, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Hey, so oh, forgot my toy. It's called my mouse. Excuse me for walking in front of you like that, my friends. But this is what we have to do. So now that that's hooked up, we got the transmitter going to this gobo light. But, like I said, I don't want to completely get rid of my DMX cables because I don't want to have 10,000 transmitters. I only want to transmit to certain things. So I can transmit to these two uh, moving headlights, spotlights. I can transmit to my gig bar behind me. And maybe, depending on how far away my speakers are, maybe I can put transmitters on those, uplighting my speakers. So there's one, two, three, four, five, five transmitters I need. But I want to run this moving headlight to this par light via DMX. So this is going to sit on my totem, which is sitting over here. My totem sitting to the side and... Um, I want to light up the scrim. Now, when I want to, you know, up light the scrim. It looks so cool when you do that. So, I want this par light to shine up underneath the scrim from this gobo light. So, all I got to do is transmit to the gobo light and then just DMX this, this light. Does it work? We're going to find out, my friends. Hit it, my friends. Make it out of blackout. There it is. This gobo light is running with par light. These two. Sorry about that. See, that's it. That's how that works. Get blackout, everything shuts off. To learn a DMX program in Record Box, um, take a little time. Uh, search YouTube. I don't do a tutorial on that. I, I'm not very good at screen sharing yet. Uh, I'll learn that. Um, but until then, that's that's how you can take your RB DMX and record box. Use a little $350 box. Now that little DM, R, RB DMX box is going to cost you $350. And then the, the donor lighting system, this one that I got was $135. But you can get the more expensive ones if you get the built-in battery. If it doesn't say built-in battery, you're going to be powered. You're going to need power cords. Power cords come with the lights or with the trans receivers. So it all comes as one. You get one transmitter, you know, seven receivers for like $135, but you are going to be powered. You're not going to be battery-operated. Battery-operated ones, that's a little bit more expensive. And I may buy a set of that. I don't know. It just depends. Right now, this is going to work for me because um, what I'll do is I'll run this light, this par light, and one transmitter, and I'll use this. What it is, it's a, like a splitter. It's off my power cable, and then it's three plugs. So I can plug this par light into here, the power light for this, and then the transmitter light into there, and that I'm good. And same with my speakers. Um, I can run that same system where I plug my speaker into it. I plug the light underneath my speaker. And if I'm using the transmitter, I still have an extra spot for the transmitter. Those are those are wonderful to have. They're three ways, just off your off your power cord. So um, I'll give a few other things of, of things I do for my for my gigs because I'm, I'm a mobile DJ and I'm constantly trying to make up stuff. Um, I'll take a 100-foot power cord and chop it up. Boom, 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 boom. Make eight, 10-footers, 15-footers, 25-footers, whatever it is. I'll take a 100-foot cable, and I'll buy some stuff from Home Depot or from Lowe's or from your hardware store or wherever, and buy connectors, wire it together. Uh, if you're not an electrician, don't do this. <laughs> I'm not an electrician, but I have friends that are, and they taught me how to do this. Um, So... That's a simple way of taking a 100-foot power cord and turning it into four 25-footers or 10-footers, 10, 10 just saying. Um, getting off subject, but I, I wanted to know if this transmitter-receiver system worked with the RBDMX1, and it does. 
Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and I'll answer what I can. Remember, I should wear that shirt. I mix music and I know things. And these are the things I know. Oh, God, I love my wife. Um, until then, my friends, be well, be safe, and happy mixing.